Welcome to Yes Offense. Trigger warning, disclaimer, whatever you want to call it, this podcast will feature graphic language about sex, race, violence, and anything else that might make people uncomfortable. However, this is a comedy podcast, and everything and anything talked about on it should be viewed as an attempt at humor. Like, if you hear anything on this podcast you don't agree with or like, please just turn it off. No one on here is a politician or actually affecting the way you live. So if you genuinely have a problem with anything said on here, redirect your energy at a real issue going on in the real world. Now let's get into the show. <laughs> is it going? It's going. That's exactly how I start. I'm just like, it's going? All right. So <laughs> we're going. Yeah, All right. right. <laughs> yeah. So wait, you guys are down in Florida, right? Yeah, Florida man. Do you got yeah, so how how often do you come into contact with the Florida man? If well, at all? we don't okay. So when we first moved here, our street at the end of our street there were hookers. Phil. So yeah. <laughs> yes. It was it was like PTA back yeah. city every so, corner damn, of the street. Like, what? Yes. Yeah, there was one that was bow legged. Yo, <laughs> she would walk. You guys obviously can't see me, but she would walk like this. <laughs> like a, like, a wounded T Rex. Yeah. Right. And right. then we've seen people pick them up. Yep. So yes. that's the closest that we've um, encountered with the Florida men. Um, that sounds like, like some Florida Sam. women, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I even told Sam um, <clears throat> one time I was behind a freaking car and the freaking guy has had it, literally a blank piece of paper covered on his freaking license plate. And I was uh, like, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah. So then we the, the light turns green, so we turn to the green side, and then he literally stops in the middle of the road and a hooker gets in his car and drives yeah. off. I was like, that explains the blank piece of paper. Yeah. yeah. Distract, yeah, so they don't record his license plate because he keeps yeah. he's, he's a frequent guy, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. yeah. But there, there was like the coolest, the <laughs> coolest experience that we had with the Florida man. Actually, Ozzy was driving, and he was oh, like yeah, was giving cool. thumbs up to some dude in the back of a truck, and then all of a sudden, the guy was like, You want a beer? and like offered him a beer <laughs> and passed it. Literally, it was like a fast and furious, <laughs> thing, but like literally going 40 miles per hour, and then he's like reaching over the freaking thing. Road and I'm over here reaching out the window. And, got the and I got the beer. I opened it and I was like, "Cheers!" <laughs> these are these are yeah. more. All right, I was looking for like you guys. Saw Nothing a crazy, man, you know. Like wrestle his arm out of a crocodile and it had <laughs> its meth yeah. in it when he pulled it out. He's like, "I got my meth." Wow. And you guys are just yeah. having positive sex worker experiences <laughs> and beers across highways. This is like the hangover. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, no. We we are fortunate enough to not have dealt with crazy ass Florida people. But nice. they are crazy Florida people. I the, dude, there's and then there's old like too many people. Especially in this if state. you're in the retail or like any customer service job. Yeah. Hell crazy. yeah. Well you guys, um welcome to the podcast uh and to the audience again. I'm glad I torture you guys with not introducing the guests right away. <laughs> but today we have two special guests it is my friends, Sam and Ozzy, all the way from the Cushion Crime podcast. And they Hello. live down in Florida now. So you guys yep. lived in Connecticut before and we met through mutual friends. And then yep. when you moved. You started a podcast, and I started a podcast. <laughs> Why you sound so aggressive? So like no, no, no. I know. I'm just, yeah. You guys ditched me. No, no, no. I didn't mean it like that. Sorry, no. You guys ditched me as a podcast without me. No, no. You guys moved and started a pod, and uh, our friend, mutual friend Chris was like, they have a podcast. You should go on, and you should come on theirs. Mm -hmm. And now... You guys are here. Now we're here. Yeah, yeah, now we're here. And you were on ours. It's nice. Yeah. And I also, I had a fun it's time. It's always a good time, though. Yeah, dude. I, yeah. I went in, well, because I went in, I remember you guys explaining, because for you guys do a podcast called Cushion Crime, which is, uh, you guys have a comedy. <laughs> it's just a, a funny combination. It's like, so we invite you on, we talk about your favorite weed, and then we go into a murder case <laughs> that is probably happening still, and we can get in trouble for talking about, and include weed in it that, 
You know, I don't well, know. It's, if- it's almost, it's, it, you make it sound like it's like, hey, I got a piece of candy. Come in my van. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, the FBI is probably uh, looking at us after that. For last two case. reasons. Yeah. <laughs> no, I remember. On to us. <laughs> yeah, I remember coming on and you guys were like, we're going to do a recent case. And when you got into the case, I was like, this is so sad. And then as it went yeah. on, we talked more about it. I was able to like riff. I don't know. I was able to riff with it because the case went in a weirder direction than I thought. And that yeah. was great. I had a great time. But you guys do a, a crime podcast. How did you did you guys like what, what, what? Where did you guys get your inspiration to start one? I don't know. I it know it's lame. In Connecticut, yeah. to be honest with you. Oh yeah. 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 So well, we were think we were talking about it right before we moved. Yeah. So you, basically, you were like Connecticut's lame, and there's not yeah. enough crime here. <laughs> there really is it though like i mean there is but not yeah right. not too other much other places right. yeah but no i was just kind of just sitting there and honestly i had finished like all of the podcast i had listened to because i like to listen to true crime podcasts and ozzy doesn't know anything about nope. true crime at all <laughs> like nothing <laughs> which is cool because it just, it just doesn't really fascinate me like to like what why why should i know these horrible things yeah, yeah you know? he's still yeah. Uh, Dude, women. So, oh, I'm sorry, Sam. Women specifically. Very good. Yeah, women love murder for some reason. I don't know what it is. Every yeah. single girl it's I've just dated watches they like drama. Me. Yeah, yeah, and they're also <laughs> like, "Where did this person go wrong?" So when I commit murder, I can do the right thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Um, you're not supposed to tell our secrets yeah, first. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> No, you're good. <laughs> but like, I've always liked true crime. Like from a kid, like I used to watch America's Most Wanted with John Walsh, and like low key freak out. Like, oh my god, is that person outside? Am I gonna die? Yeah. Am I gonna die? Like, so I just listen. I like it because it like keeps me aware that there's fucking terrible ass people in this world. Exactly, and, terrible ass people. Yeah, <laughs> stay protected. Constant vigilance. Yeah, I always whatever I hear of the shit that happens in you know, murders and stuff. I always think like, <laughs> but I'm always like, you know, murder. <laughs> I mean, I could be a prick. Don't get me wrong, but I'm always like to strangers. I never mess with strangers. Like to people in my life, I toy with and I mess with not to like a sadistic yeah. extent. It's a sign I, of I, love. Yeah. But I don't know all the things I hear. I'm just very wary of strangers. Like people would get into like, bar fights that I know of all the time. They'll just be hanging out with friends and they'll get into a bar fight. And I'm like, dude, that person might follow you home later and just brutally murder you and your whole family. I don't know why you yeah. are so willy nilly with, I don't know. That's just where my mind goes when I think of this shit. See, like that's, the, that's the same thing with me. It's like, I know martial arts, but I don't like to use it. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, dude, I, I know yeah, you compete in everything and or train a lot. And doesn't it make you like just even more scared, even though you can f- like handle yourself better? Aren't you like, wow, there's people out here in the world who can just like hold me down and fuck me if they wanted to. <laughs> like, it's fucked up. Well, but- yeah, I mean, <laughs> there, there is. There comes- That's what jujitsu is for. Yeah, I mean, no. Nah, well, it, it's it's not really scary for me because it's like. I walk around pretty much confident and like, okay, if something happens, I know how to kind of will somewhat defend myself. But obviously if I'm by myself and there's like a Ninja Turtle group and shit, like I'm going to get my ass kicked. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like jujitsu won't work against multiple people. Let's just, I'm going to be real with you right there. Oh, uh, yeah, no. And, and, um. Because you're all rolling I mean, on the ground. And, yeah. And it, exactly. And then, and freaking like if they have weapons and I don't, I'm fucked. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, dude, I always, you always think you're going to be like, uh, you ever see the movie Nobody? With yeah. uh, when he's on the bus scene and he's like, I'm going to fuck you guys up. And they're like coming at it with <laughs> knives. Mm-hmm. And he's like smacking it away. It's like you would get you get stabbed immediately. <laughs> like that situation right. where they're yeah. like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. You're like, here we now go. If, not, now, it's like he like, for example, if someone tackles me down or like it's actually like a fist fight, then OK, cool. Bring it on. But if I'm not going to mess with someone with a freaking knife or a gun. I don't have shit on me. Nah, dude, I, yeah, I'd fold easily. I've stubbed my toe and had to be out of work for a week. So, <laughs> <laughs> I am not a strong man, dude. I have, I, I always think that too. Like I brought this up on the podcast before. There's like, 
You know, in like horror movies when they're running away or they get stabbed or something and then they yeah. just yeah. keep going. It's like, <laughs> I, I want to think I do that. And then in real life, I have I, I, I've gotten nowhere close to like moving after something bad has happened to me. And I'm like, I, I'm gonna, I would die in a horror movie. I, I'd like to think I'd survive. But I would die. <laughs> Did you listen to our Mary Vincent episode? No. Okay, so that's a survivor tale, and she literally got both her arms cut off, still managed to climb up a side of a, a steep cliff, and then fucking was, like, lived, and then that guy went to jail. Like, he he just chopped her arms off and threw her down a hill? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Only that. Damn, that. sluts. Can you guys hear that? The on your end? The clicking? No, there was a. I have a drops on my. Never mind. That's why I record on my end. Anyway, uh, I, I have drops for my podcast. This is the one thing uh, for listeners. If you you know, depending on the audio we use, you uh, see me and Ozzy are on a Zoom call right now, and we're doing this through the thing, so they can't. We can. <laughs> through the thing. Yeah, we're we're technically recording this through video, but in order to hear drops, I'll probably use my audio for it. Or if we can mm -hmm. use this, we'll throw it on YouTube. A lot of inside yeah. for the listeners. Anyway, so this bitch got her arms chopped off and <laughs> yes. down a hill. What, yes. Why the arms? Did this dude have like a fetish for arms? I don't know why he did the arms, but basically, this is just terrible, but she was, uh, she was raped by him. So she was hitchhiking in California, picked up by him, and he she felt safe. But then he had like a whole bag of tools that he like used against her and like raped her and then okay. fucking... She tried to get out and they chopped her arms off and then threw her down a hill. So Jesus it, Christ. And yeah. she still survived. And yeah, she survived. But yeah. I don't know, like about uh, his past, I wasn't able to find much. So. I yeah, I would have <laughs> I would have given up um, <laughs> during the rape, dude. I'm not gonna lie. That would have been it for yeah. me. I'm weak. Yeah, that would have been I, it. I'm yeah. done. Yeah. I'm not a strong man. <laughs> 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 nah, but the the podcast was pretty much all Sam's idea, really. It's just she's like, "Hey, you want to do a podcast about this, this, and that?" It's like, uh, sure. No, yeah. no, it's fun. I, I, you guys flow well. I had a good time. I, I. Uh, most true crime podcasts annoy me, the ones I've heard, because it's usually two white chicks and they're like, oh my God, can you believe this? It's like, <laughs> they're out of here. And guess what to happens next? Fair, and yeah, like, to be <laughs> fair, that it does, it, it, yeah. It's great. It, exactly. yeah. My ex tried to make me listen to one and w it. I, I don't think we got in a fight, but it, it it got turned off. I know that. Like it was like I I can't yeah. do this. So it, the thing that shocked me most about the podcast is that a lot of listeners actually like how I am. Yeah, he's been getting a lot of compliments about like how he handles yeah, things. Like <laughs> like especially when I'm smoking. It's like for me, like I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm very self conscious. I'm over here thinking I'm doing the weirdest shit in person, but I'm doing this literally through audio and people freaking love it i even told sam like what the hell is happening right now yeah i have had i actually had a fan of the podcast reach out recently who was like i really like your podcast and i was like oh thanks i didn't know people were listening <laughs> like you know like i know they <laughs> are yeah. but i didn't know and it was cool so i was like oh yeah, yeah we've gotten yeah we've gotten a couple fan messages too it's always so like oh my god people yeah, like it's us. pretty exciting and like cool us. how people reach out to yeah. us and they're yeah. like yeah we love your shit and they're like oh my god i actually knew I this person too to be fair but i didn't think they listened like that and i was like oh wow oh. Like, so it was cool yeah and they're attractive nice too. They, to yeah it was an attractive person too it was like some ugly uggo i'd be like yeah, whatever <laughs> whatever weirdo thanks but, you know, so like uh some even ugly. even one of our like listeners actually rated our and uh did a review on our podcast on her actual personal website yeah it's called true crime mom and she was like oh. these guys are great and she I was called, like, she called me the ivory man. <laughs> Did she? And the, yeah, it's clearly an audio podcast. <laughs> I was like, I will adopt that name for now on. <laughs> the ivory man. Is it because of your voice or is she just assume? I think it's because I mostly talk about the strain. When oh, he talks about weed. the strain, okay. he goes, <laughs> he goes, take it away, ivory man, every time. And I don't know why. It just flows. <laughs> he just does it. It's provocative. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you guys have um 
like a favorite case you guys went over in the podcast you've done? Like one that I mean, I, like favorite murder. You know? It's kind of hard to do. Like, what <laughs> yeah. murder did you guys? There's actually fascinating. There's actually a podcast called My Favorite Murder. I actually. know that's exactly <laughs> who I'm talking about. Actually, I, not <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't get it. I, you know, I'm not it's saying right. my podcast should be in the millions like theirs, but I listened to it and was like, oh fuck me, and just <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Anyway, I mean, I know <laughs> you're right. Mine has no structure or anything, but fuck it. Yeah. Anyway. It's okay. Um, I think for researching, my favorite one was Robert Durst because I watched like a uh, really, really, really good documentary about it, and it had a lot of like twists and turns, and I liked the how I could set it up for Ozzy. It's so the he was jinx, like, what the right? Fuck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't watch it, but it's, I know what happens in it or the end or whatever. Yeah, so. it's really good. I've heard mine would things. be just uh, <laughs> mine would be the Ed Gein one. Yeah. That was, that was use the Texas, Texas Chainsaw, Chainsaw Mask. Mask. Yep, yep. I'm yeah. a fan. But that's only that's literally the only true crime that I know. Just that one case. So yeah. that's why it kind of intrigued me more because I was actually researching it and I was like actually in, intrigued by it. Yeah, I actually became uh, not like. It's fucked up because <laughs> it's like a fucked up reason why <laughs> I like this guy, and it's not that I like him. I it, I almost like him the way I like my I would like him if he was a let's put it this way I would really like this guy if he was a um, like a movie villain because uh-huh. I like my movie villains when they're just like pure evil and they almost have not that they don't have motive but they're just evil like I don't know if you ever seen the movie Dirty Harry but I think that has like one of the best villains of all time I don't, you know. that's what uh, Clint Eastwood right? Clint Eastwood yes it's the yep. first one, great. The villain in it, no motive. It's just he he kills without reason. He's evil. It's pure. So for real life, I not a fan just of how I, I'm for some reason I, I I always get confused when serial killers have a pattern because I feel like you wouldn't want to get caught. So the night yeah. stalker not he literally oh. just did everything like it's fucked up yeah he Is was that a, the one that he walked around the same spot richard ramirez yeah, yeah. and the police let him go and yeah that's just crazy he it's just a sheer like i don't think i've heard of a human being at least around you know in the u.s that isn't more less human like that dude just fucking killed rape like he did everything to everyone it didn't matter he would yeah. just go into houses and that that's insane to me i don't know that that one that's like a monster like the, a real life monster that, yeah so. that's what i told sam i was like i wonder what exactly they're going through their heads when they're actually trying to do all these things he would it was the thing too is like he would it wouldn't it would be like women children couples it didn't it there's no i mean it did consist mainly of like older women so you know he mm-hmm. his targets were easy but the sheer just brutality and evil it was just i i couldn't believe a human like that existed so not yeah. saying yeah. he's my favorite so, I'm just the the sheer um brutality and uh randomness of his crimes fascinates me so Right. And I don't know if you guys watched the documentary, but there's a scene in it when he shot a couple in both of them in the head and they both survived and woke up. Yeah, it's hilarious. Like, it's fucked up. But like he shoots the woman, I believe it's vice versa, but he shoots the woman in the face. I knew about that. Yeah. And she's like, Mm. ah, what the fuck? And her husband wakes up and he shoots him in the head and he's like, ah, get the fuck out of my bedroom (laughs) and just starts fighting the guy. (laughs) And the guy's like, ah, Jesus. Ah, all right. Ah, I'll leave. All right. Why won't you die? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But imagine being the night stalker where he's like, I just shot both of you in the head. <laughs> like, and you both survived. Yeah, and they both were like, get out! Like, he's yelling at him. <laughs> get the fuck out of my house! Get out of our house! And they shoot him out, and I think they called the cops because it was reported, but it's like, that's insane, dude. That... Imagine the cops getting there and they just see a bullet hole yeah, in their they're like, head. Well, that's the thing. They didn't even have, like, bullet holes. It, like, one of them went, like, in their eye, but it went, like, in... The like Ooh. the the corner like, like the, the skull the slot yeah it went like into their eye like went through and got lodged yeah. another one went it, it's it, I think one went in their mouth I'm not 100 percent sure like in oh, but shit. in and it's just dude that is anyway that whole part of that case was a highlight for me because it's like they lived 
And they, that's insane. That just doesn't, that's like a freak accident of freak. Ac- it, it will never happen again. I'm assuming like, no. I don't yeah. think that'll ever no. happen in the universe. Again, two people get shot in the head and they both are coherently alive to times like that. It seems like they were not supposed to die at the time. They, like yeah. the universe is like, no, 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 yeah. no, no. Yeah. I don't even <laughs> think drugs were involved. I think I'm pretty sure they were dead asleep and it's like, they just got shot. It's that's insane. Dude. So yeah. they didn't get like any like uh, permanent damages, like brain damage or anything. I think they, I, I'm sure they were like hurt, but they, I don't it, No, It wasn't like, um, no life threatening. No, it was, it, you'd be, Jeez. I think, I, I don't know if they had the bullets removed or what. I, it doesn't go into that detail, but they survived. See, if we were doing this con, uh, this crime scene, I would have given me giving you good content. Okay. We'll do it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got tons to work with. Yeah. Yeah. There's plenty of crime. Never Unfortunately, stops. it never stops. Yeah. Well, that's good. Well, yeah, unlike your podcast, I don't have a theme, and this is when I run into. I forgot. I had other questions <laughs> to ask you guys, but I forgot that. That's all right. I wonder if I had. I, Who needs questions? Right? No, it had to do with weed, and I can't remember what it was. It had something to do with. Oh, is weed legal down there in Florida? Medical. Oh, do you guys? Yeah, I, I don't. I'm gonna say yeah. you guys have yeah. medical. We have our yeah, med right, card. Cool. Yeah, because yep. I just yeah, wonder that because up here. It's finally legal, so I guess technically we could talk about smoking and stuff, which we do anyways. But I'm just saying, like, right. some people are like, uh, if you talk to them from other places, they're like, oh, yeah, we can't talk about it because of our jobs. Honestly, oh, don't know. My job knows. Oh, yeah. D- honestly, I don't know if my job <laughs> would be so cool with me talking <laughs> about what I even talk about in general, but... I don't talk about what I really do for a living on here. So right. I, I, yeah, I, I exactly. give shades of gray about it. But, um, you know, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. A lot of people like cool to put it. two and two together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, they can figure it out. Uh, I think I mentioned at one point where I work on here by accident, but uh, I, I don't really care. When I got hired. Just edit that shit out. Yeah, yeah. But no, I, I don't even worry because when I got hired, um, because everyone on this podcast knows, you guys know, I've been arrested for smoking or selling weed back in the day, like a long time ago. And um, I don't know if I knew that. Oh, well, boom, boom. we should have talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> Cushion crime podcast. I should have brought that oh, up. Oh, yeah. yeah. got a real criminal been, over yeah. here. No, but um, next time. Um, that, that, there you go for the next time. But um, I've been mm-hmm. arrested for weed. So whenever I've gotten a job, I usually have to bring that up or disclose it or whatever. And I didn't for this one because they didn't ask. And I think about a month into my job, both of my bosses were just we were just hanging out at a meeting and or something like at, at the shop. And they were like, uh, they, they were like, yeah, uh, Alex, uh, there's something about that. I think we just got legalized and they're like, we bet you're hyped about that. And I was like, yeah, I guess it's great. And they're like, yeah, you know, so they, they just basically were like, yeah, cause you, you might get pulled over. Arrested. Yeah. You might get pulled yeah. over one day with a lot of weed in your car and get like, they just <laughs> recited my like article in the paper about me getting oh arrested my to God. me. And it was just, I was like, Oh, you guys knew about that. And they're like, yeah, dude, <laughs> we found it out. <laughs> of course we do. We Googled you when you hired you. We don't care. Dude, and I was Googled like, you. yeah, I was just so happy they didn't care. Cause usually it goes yeah, the opposite a lot of places way. nowadays are pretty chill about it yeah they, yeah, they have my to job be doesn't sort of. even test for weed so we got tested when they first hired us and they don't uh they don't do it past that unless you're like your van smells like weed which i don't smoke weed at my job so why would you yeah exactly yeah. i'm the no. same way yeah that'd be crazy well I'm not saying I never have smoked weed at a job, but what? Well, yeah, no. not, yeah. I'm not going to do it in my fucking van at my job right. cruising around. That'd be stupid. A right. kid at our job got fired because he crashed the van. And when they and showed they sent him for a drug test, well, they showed up and the car like it reeked of weed. And they were like, what the hell, dude? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> They're like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. It flipped I don't too. Know. Like the car wow. like flipped and shit. So it was like flipped. And he just yeah. said, "I don't know." Well, he was and like, he was "I don't high. know." It smells like weed. This is the thing. If you're smart, you could have been like, uh, "One of the customers' dirty clothes smells like weed," and that's it. You could have just lied. You could have just lied, and they wouldn't. They won't really know. But they. I mean, they will when they get back. But you know. 
Yeah. yeah. That's how I would have lied. And that that if, buys you, you know. some tide. Yeah, that I know, right? You you time, get, or it's just a lie to hang on to. Like, you can just be like, yeah, that's why. And just yeah. deadpan them. So, fun fact. Fun fact. I got, uh, what I used to go, I used to go to UConn, um, uh, the, the University of Yukon, because I mm-hmm. used to be smart. And uh, <laughs> I, yeah. and this is how smart is I was. before or after weed? <laughs> this is during weed, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a weed story. I went, so I just got back. It was um, spring semester, and we just got back, or uh, it's spring, but I'm right, spring semester. So we just got back, and I worked at a dining hall, and I forgot I had work and I got really baked and I just went to the dining hall and I was like, let's go to work. So I went into the office and I clocked in and I think I'm working for like five, 10 minutes. And then the some like student worker comes over to just like, can you come in the back office? And I'm like, why? They're Uh-oh. like, just come in the back office. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> so I come in the back and I'm not kidding. They like sit me down and there's like three student workers and like the manager student and they're like, student workers. Or yeah. The student managers, which are snitches. Like the fun yeah. Yeah. <laughs> side. Clearly. Na- Have you guys worked in <laughs> uh, dining halls or anything or like, no, you know? dude, they, at least at UConn, when I worked there, they hired the most autistic rule following kids. <laughs> just like Nazi kids. I'm like, <laughs> like, like the people that take their job serious. Oh my God. Dude, I once, this kid I used to work with who was, he was a little bit off, but he smoked weed. So I thought it was cool because, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm gullible like that. But when he, he got hired as a manager and something happened that was just like bullshit. And I hate authority. So I just went up to him and I was like, Hey man, what's up with this bullshit? Like coming on. And he, instead of talking to me like a regular person, just went into like, well, it says in rule three, 13 a of the rule book that if you do, and I was like, yo, never mind. I'll never talk to you again. And I just walked away because I was like, <laughs> I didn't, I just, I was trying to talk to someone who was cool and he just talked to me like a fucking worker and he just got promoted. It's like, we, we were, we were cool, man. And he was like, Two a, seconds ago, he's a yeah. company man, dude. He, he, he's like literally a Nazi. Like if he gets the Nazi uniform, he would like go to his Jewish neighbor yeah, and be like, all right, let's get out. Serious. I don't care how many latkes you gave me over Passover. You're out. Like it's fucked up. Mm-mm. So yeah, these kids sit me down in the office, these Nazis. <laughs> I'm sitting there. <laughs> and they're gest- the Gestapo manager comes in and she goes, are you high right now? And I go, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no what like, kind of denying question is that? It. And she goes, because you look really high right now. And I go, well, I don't know why you think I'm high. And she goes, you also smell like weed right now. <laughs> and dude, this is like on my feet. I go... <laughs> on my feet i just like look at her and i go oh that must be my friend who gave me a ride over like she she's smoking weed in the car my bad and they go you got a ride with someone who was smoking weed and i go yeah so whatever my bad can i go back to work and they go no you can't come back to work today you smell like weed and you, you you're just acting weird so we're gonna send you home and i go <laughs> you're just acting weird yeah yeah or they, you're acting fun like floozy like they said i was um slurring my words or whatever which i don't fucking care if i was and this is this is what i do i go so let me get this straight i'm just getting sent home i'm not getting fired or anything and they go no that's it and i go all right i'll see you guys later i just booked it out of there to go (laughs) because i was like i I got a free day off yeah i was like thank i i in hindsight I don't know why I worked at this dining hall because I was making plenty of money selling weed. I think I had this like, uh, like thing in my head where I was like, yeah, if I have a job, I'm less likely to be found out if I'm a drug dealer. It's like, <laughs> no one in fucking college gave a fuck and it, it, it's stupid. I could have made yeah. so much Every, more money. Everybody's a seller nowadays. Yeah. D- well, I, um, Grow well, yeah. Doing that when I realized um, selling weed, and I would talk to people, and they'd be like, "Yeah, I sold weed for a little bit." And you're like, "What do you mean?" And they're like, "Well, I'd, I'd buy an ounce and sell it to my friends." And then you realize that, yeah, everyone everyone does that to a certain degree. So, yep, mm-hmm. yeah, a lot of a lot of drug dealers, a lot of people who are drug dealers. Or, you know what? It, it'll turn into too. A lot of people will have sold drugs and won't admit the amount of drugs they sold to compared to someone who did that. Let's put it that way. 
Yeah. 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 My dad sold a lot of drugs, apparently. Oh, like and weed also or drugs? did a drugs. lot of drugs. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, the good stuff. Drugs. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a good thing my last name is no longer my last name. Oh, I haven't name, said so. your last name. So. He'll be fine. <laughs> I know, you're good. No, but that's no longer my last name anyway. So, yeah, my dad I also stole. used to, like, gangbang back in Middletown okay. and shit. And here's a fun story. So, um, my mother... I'm, gonna, I'm trying to find this, how to say this without calling and out directly. To, and for the listeners, <laughs> gangbanging is a slang of drug dealing. Yeah. I was, like, <laughs> I, I, I was gonna bring that up at one point, but like just so everyone knows, she's yeah. not just gangbanging people around. Yeah. <laughs> she's not Richard ramirez people going in their house. Just no, he's not doing them. that. Yeah. Okay. Like, hey guys, I'm here. <laughs> okay. So someone um that okay, my okay. Okay, I'm just gonna say. Just my say mother it. is a. Um, she's a hoe. She's a hoe. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Damn. What? Hell yeah, dude. I, there, and, there. I said okay, it. The, he said it first, so it's okay. All right, wait, hold uh, on. Like so, a, just a, a like a a, a a hoe or like a a paid for money just, prostitute. Just a hoe. Oh, okay, a hoe. But I'm, I'm gonna fan tell you. Right, cool. <laughs> I'm a fan. Then. I'm gonna tell you about how my mom is a hoe because it good. involves my dad and Hell his yeah. craziness while selling drugs and, and doing bad shit. So <laughs> my mom was cheating on my dad. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, Damn. Um, I was baby, so whatever. And basically, the guy the guy called the house, but my dad picked up the phone, and then the guy hung up. Like he it was a guy on the other end, and he hung up. And then he called the number back and it was like, this is Chris, blah, 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 blah. I live at blah, 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 blah. So then (laughs) this was back when you just gave out your address willy nilly. Yeah. Yeah. So then he confronts my mom and it's like, yo, you're cheating on me. Like, what the fuck? She's like, no, I'm not cheating on you. Blah, blah, blah. So, okay. All right, cool. So he goes over to this guy's house with him and his friends, oh. and he ends up like knocking on the door. And the guy opens the door, and he's like, "Yo, you, uh, you've been fucking my girl, pretty much, like my dad." And he's like, "Uh, what are you talking about?" And he's like, "I know that you have." She told me, and he was like, "I didn't mean it. I'm so sorry." Like blah blah blah. And him and all his fucking friends. So then my dad takes him and pulls him through the fucking screen door, oh, and then God. they do some things. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> out of them <laughs> See, so i have i'm gonna say friends just to be safe i have friends who cheat often mm. and i i'm not for it i understand like why no. guys and girls oh yeah yeah let's say let, okay. yes for <laughs> just for just so if anyone listening wants to yeah. turn to whoever if they're like are they talking about you no but i have friends who <laughs> cheat <laughs> But no, I have friends you who cheat. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 for real. I don't, I'm not going to get specific. But I have friends who cheat. And um, it, I'm not so much worried about girls. Pers- well, actually, no, I, I would be worried about girls. The girls, this is more likely to go this way, I guess. But dudes, it's more like, I, I don't know. I just think from the dude's point of view. But like, I, they're my boy. Like, these people are my friends. They're my boys, girls, whatever. I, don't want them to cheat because it's fucked up. But right. I am like, dude, you like if you're gonna do this, get better at it. But also, if <laughs> you do realize, like, yeah, <laughs> like cause some of them, like, I don't mean to sound like. Actually, Ozzy, you'll understand this. Like, some of them date um, Hispanics, so I'm like, <laughs> you are gonna get. They're crazy. Stabbed. They're gonna, you're yeah, gonna you're die. Gonna come, yeah. You're gonna <laughs> come home one day. Yeah. And it, or it's like this, if you're dating, like white chicks do this too, where you're going to, like a dude is going to come home and he's going to find his girlfriend in a bathrobe with a handgun and a bottle of pills laying out. And she's going to be like, I love you. And just start shooting the wall and like trying to kill him. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like Scarface type shit. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. My this whole is thing a is like, yeah. Or a Latino yeah. be like a fucking gunfight. Yeah. It's like, dude, y- do you watch movies where people cheat? Do, how's that end? You know what I mean? Like it usually Never ends good. like you've seen Gone Girl. It's terrifying. Fatal Attraction. That is a good movie. Gone it is a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> Solid flick. I went to see that in theaters having no idea what it was about and was like, whoa, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. But it's yo, a long movie too. Yeah. And it's like, dude, I listen, I understand people f- 
are it nothing happens in a vacuum i know people can be scumbags i don't know we were situations but it's like dude just fucking you gotta be i don't know man don't be cheap just don't cheat. It's not, it's not a good idea. Don't cheat. It goes not wrong, nice. dude. I've never. I can do it. Yeah, man. I, it, it, yeah. Anyway, if it's gonna, if it's all, it's, if it's, it's funny, it's I get it. No, energy, <laughs> I know, I know. It's, it's, a, it's a freaking waste of energy. It, oh yeah. Too. It's like you gotta, you gotta, like literally plan out like days to fucking see that person and. You know, all that sex energy that you just wasted and shit, you know? <laughs> if we do release this as a video, yo, when you said you got to put time aside, Sam looked up at you like, what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean are you putting time? You sound like you planned this at one point, huh? <laughs> I'm literally my thought. I was like, like oh no. Stop. I was like, Ozzy, stop. Stop. No, 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 no. I, I know. The, only know. Know. the only reason why I know this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The only reason why I know this is because of Candy. She. She, uh, she literally is like the whole girl made a freaking contract in days that they're supposed to see each other. What's candy? like? What's this? The oh. one of the cases that we did. Oh, okay. And it's on Hulu. So that's the only reason why I know because she's she told me that that girl literally made a contract. They saw each other certain days, and mm-hmm. you, you it's, know it's stuff a, like I'm that. I'm fucking with you too. It's also common. Not, I, I know Sam knows you're not a piece of shit too. I'm just fucking. But no, it is it's common better. knowledge too. <laughs> it is common knowledge too that it's just the way. It, yeah. Um, do I? Do I know that? Um. <laughs> Well, we've been, we if you don't cooked. see me after, if you don't see me after this podcast, you know what happened. <laughs> yeah, she's like mission crime, new case. Ozzy's missing. <laughs> Go check that new episode of Yes Offense for Clues. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, be unite. Yeah. We're no longer having a co-host, so it's, uh, Ozzy's <laughs> missing. This is a Sam only podcast. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. We're I'll be Ivory too. Girl now. This has been going great too, you guys. We were. I usually look, and we're at thirty-five right now, which is great. And mm-hmm. you, that's, we're just cooking along. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> just sizzling <laughs> around. Because usually I'm I, just thinking of eggs. Well, because no, yeah, it's like um, you guys aren't comedians, you know. Because so I usually have comedians, and we riff or try to riff try and um we haven't even been riffing it's i think been going on i, I think love it. this is like the only time that i actually literally talked to you for a long time i know That's as true. well because i was gonna say we usually it's been at like cookouts and we talk for like yep. a brief minute and then we get drawn into like a group discussion or yep. we're just baked and we you know we fall asleep watch a movie or That's it. Mm-hmm. end up playing vo- no one knows this on the podcast <laughs> but I, yeah, yeah, volleyball. So the volleyball so appa- I actually yeah because right when we, we played, moved yeah we played with you guys um, at my our friend Chris's house in the no, no, uh, I, 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 I think she was uh, I was spectating uh, yeah it was hilarious yeah and, I was well, I was against you yeah. uh, my team was against your team <laughs> <And little laughs> that t- made it even better. <laughs> everyone's knowledge even mine like i didn't realize how into it i got until but i got way i get way too into you it. were passionate yeah. about it yeah, it's okay. a casual I until say, uh, when we got home i was like sully was actually pretty passionate about this he got angry i wasn't so it was like a f- I, I wasn't really really angry it was like a frustrated with people failing on my team anger if that makes sense like if people miss yeah i would almost like I wouldn't really get angry, but I would like if I let's just put it this way. I was like, I was taking the game seriously in my head, though. If that- <laughs> <laughs> so I did shit because no, I used to. Um, I did this. There's this thing like the Polish Falcons of America, which is just like the Elks Club, which is just a bunch mm-hmm. of. Pol- oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, and it's a bunch of Polish yeah. families who are alcoholics and they get together and drink, but. <laughs> um, it's an actual like community and sus- it's like a uh, a club and they set up these events for kids when you're younger and like as a kid I would go to like these track and field Olympia events where it was like track and field and then volleyball and then um, fucking like gymnastics and shit and all this mm-hmm. shit you would do and one of them was like a volleyball tournament so I actually learned how to play volleyball and yeah, like that's the thing. Like, so you're just like, this is serious to yeah, me, okay? To me, yeah, you like, guys are useless. Yeah, to, when I play with like regular people, I feel like I have somewhat of an advantage. <laughs> and then, yeah, I can shine. So. Damn peasants. I'm yeah. pretty good, but I don't like playing because other people suck. 
So, yeah, exactly. Just, so I, I have fun with I'm it. Okay. And then I also, because I feel like I like to be funny, obviously. And I feel like it's funny if me... <laughs> gets into a volleyball game and out of nowhere <laughs> is like, come on, people! Volley! Get the volley! Control the volley! Like, I bet I just keep screaming You're at, at the point where you're about to, like, literally Hulk Hogan your shit out how pissed you oh, are. Oh, so fun, dude. I love it. I get, I got so, well, because I could tell other people were having fun, and you know, I like to entertain, so. That was we we played, time. like, literally, like, at least five or six rounds. Yeah. And I think we, I don't think we want, my team won. That's the thing. That yeah, the, I, I I'm like, so. I'm the best. <laughs> the other team <laughs> just works better. <laughs> so for, you could have oh. just like changed up teams no. at any time. Yeah, no, I like. Nope, that, I that's the thing. That. Everybody wanted to give up after like the third round of volleyball. No, we keep And going. then Sally was like, come on, no, we're going to keep going. We're going <laughs> to keep it. going. <laughs> and everybody's like, <laughs> yeah. like dying. <laughs> Those were good times. Um, oh, so, you guys, since you're a true crime podcast, um, mm-hmm. there's this is a this just leads into a story I have too of my life. But um, do you guys have you guys ever done like uh, been to Salem, Massachusetts? Of course. Oh, sweet, cool. So, have you, <laughs> have you, this is an off season story, obviously, because we're in the fucking mm-hmm. summer. But have you I ever? I still love Halloween. I, me, dude, I, I love. Halloween. It's my favorite time. I, I grew into my favorite time of year. Like I, because there's literally yeah. certain parts of this house is Halloween themed. Yeah, I decorated like it. Currently. Well, because yeah. I don't get me wrong. I like. I used to actually really like Thanksgiving because I got to spend time with uh, my mm-hmm. family and just it, it's a good time. And as stoners, I really like the like getting oh, yeah. the stoner cousins on a walk before dinner yeah. type shit. I'm, I'm that guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> you want to go walk? <laughs> yeah, dude, I do. I'm back. I'm a hundred percent that one. Um, but if th- it's definitely Halloween now, just on like, I, cause I really like scary movies and the whole, the, the way the, w- the world is like the way that people do their yeah. houses and the candy mm-hmm. and slutty women. I'm a big fan of <laughs> Damn, slutty, slut, slutty costumes. Special. Yeah. Slutty costumes. But um, oh, Don't did you look me. again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm definitely going to be dead. <laughs> Salem, as you guys know, Salem's like Halloween Town, USA, right? That's mm-hmm. the capital oh God, yeah. of Halloween. So mm-hmm. uh, that's where I went for our, my bachelorette party. Actually. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, they they do. Yeah. They kind of have like if it, it's not Halloween year round, it's like witch year round type theme type mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. So, uh, did you guys ever go to the Satanic Temple? No. Oh, well, I did. He would never go in anything like oh, that. Oh, you wouldn't? Ozzy, you're, you're one of those? What do you mean? I don't think you would go in anything like that. As long as nothing comes back with us. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. So, you learn, actually, uh, you learn a lot going there because you it is, you, you hear Satanic Temple and it's like, it is. I like, think scary, but it's not. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I believe in, you know, Jesus, whatever, okay. but I, I don't care about that. Oh, okay, because I'm, I'm. I'm not, I'm no longer an annoying atheist. I kind of just don't care if that makes sense. So, yeah. you know, yeah, I just don't care. It, it, See, yeah. I'm just, yeah. I'm just the type of person that just really don't force it with anyone. <laughs> oh yeah. No, if you, I, I'm definitely one of those where like, I don't want to yeah. hear about it, whatever. If you, exactly. do, if you do believe in something and, like, please and on top don't. Of that, it to yourself. And, and on top of that, it, my, <laughs> my belief is that you don't have to go to fucking church. every day. <laughs> I don't yeah, dude, I, <laughs> as a, now you're preaching to the choir. As a child who was forced to go to church, yeah, it yep. Is doof. Like, yep. I basically came to the conclusion where it's like I believe in it, sure, but do I really have to go every day and you know show the world like, oh my God, I'm Jesus, uh, stuff of thing? That dude. No, it's just it's within me type of thing, you know. Yeah. So. The satanic temple, though, is like when you go there. It, okay, it is satanic. There's a big fucking devil uh, statue. It's like it's pretty it's cool. cool to look at. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty well yeah. sculpted. <laughs> that sounds but, cool. <laughs> yeah, but when you like they, if you read any of the shit they explain about it in there, like the the reason for all this shit, say, say, Satan's are actually more anti-government than anything. They're mm-hmm. Satanists. Sorry, Satanists. I'm saying it like an idiot. Yeah. And when you start to like read about that shit and look at it in that perspective, it gets kind of interesting. Like I'm not, I'm not a religious man, and I, I, I you know, if I did, I don't think I'd go to the Satanist side. But 
it is you know like out yeah, of definitely don't want to go there <laughs> dude out of sheer um what's it called superstition you know or <laughs> like mm -hmm. why would i gamble with the thing <clears throat> right that's, that's like, like playing with the damnation. ouija board and you know yeah. what you're doing dude we can get into let's get into the ouija board in a second but um <laughs> Dude, oh, okay. yeah, it's an anti it's they're pretty anti-government like they don't like rules and shit like that which i got behind right and then but then you get into which hold on but before i'll talk about my experience there after i tell you guys what happened apparently some guy uh in a shirt uh with, with the words <laughs> God on it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, you hope he was wearing God with a shirt. With a shirt. How <laughs> dare you? No, but the shirt in capital letters read God on it. And he went to the uh -huh. satanic temple and tried to set it on fire, which what? you, you know, I'm Isn't not. Isn't that the opposite of right? what you want to do? Cause that satanic is all flames. Yeah. And you think like <laughs> you would do it. He said it. He literally went up to like the porch and just lit the like tried to light a section of it on fire like doused it a little and just lit it from what i can tell and it i'm pretty sure it's not a wood yeah he just lit it on their stone steps so nothing happened and it's also mm -hmm. just it, yeah, i agree ozzy it's like it's fucking you're you're it, it'd be like I'm going to drown Aquaman. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to pour water on you. So, wait, wait, I'm confused. Wait, so he just did. Did the, anything happen after yeah, that? Yeah, like, no, is, no, is there it's more? A silly no. Okay. <laughs> it, like I said, so there's he, more so segues what, so into my story. So he set the fire for like a warning thing? He said, yeah. Like, don't, don't do this. <laughs> yeah, I don't. He, yeah, he, it, apparently, which is hilarious. It's being, this is more, I think, the reason I brought it up. It's being labeled as uh -huh. a hate crime. Which what? is, <laughs> yeah, because it's against a religion, so they it's oh. like a, a crime, uh, I guess. To burn a shirt that says God no, no, on they, it? he burnt, he lit no. the, he tried to light the stairs on fire. He tried oh, to light the building. He tried on fire. to burn the temple he, down. Yes, but oh, horribly. I thought. Yeah, I was like stuck on like a. The shirt with like God, oh, God. written on. No. I think, I yeah, like, I think she thought that the freaking shirt got caught on fire. No. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. he traveled pretty initially yeah he went all the way there though to do that i forgot where he came from but i just thought that was silly just because i've been there mm -hmm. as someone who has been to the satanic temple and there's not much to burn. I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's not that. Like, I've been there. I think I. I think you, it costs like twenty bucks to get in or whatever. You have to pay to get in, but it's literally like. So so what does it really teaches you like the culture of it? Sort of. It's uh yes and no. Yeah, I mean it. It's dude. It's basically a house, and in parts of the house, <laughs> they have, yeah, it's it's got a room where they have some satanic like artifacts which mm -hmm. they're not really even artifacts it's just like there's a, a crib with a goat in it that's like it's supposed to be jesus but it's a goat and then there's there's a few different things like that but then there's a picture uh -huh. of behemoth i think his name is the satan it, it's like the an embodiment it's, of it, satan it's the goat it sounds all homemade yeah it's the goat oh, and Bessonet. then there's kid yeah yeah best man and there's the goat and he's like got it, it, they explain that shit too, which is essentially like how he's against law and order and rules and shit like that. And I, I'm hmm. de horribly butchering the message of Satanism right here. But. <laughs> it's all right. We can look it up after. But I lot, would be scared to research all this stuff. Yeah. Well, no, it's on the wall. They have like, it's like a museum type thing. Hmm. And then, but then they have a library in there, which is where things got not weird, just. Like, so you go in this room and it's just a bunch of it's shelves of books. And my mm -hmm. cousin and I are in here and he's pretty Christian. So he was kind of like, eh. and we're walking yeah, around. There's all I these would. like, dude, I'm not going to lie. Everyone in there who's like really looking at these books looks like a, exactly how you think a Satanist would look like. It's like dudes with gauges and like, like John Lennon glasses, <laughs> ponytails. All the girls look like they've like had leeches on their faces earlier in the day and they're all pasty oh white people it's great but my cousin and i <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i sm oh yeah i took my for cushion crime listeners who if they cross over i smoked my weed pen in the 
the Satan temple. So there's that. Ooh. I did Ooh. some of that. I, did. I don't think Satan cared. You know what I mean? So no. um, nah, he probably couldn't do it. He's probably like eh, eh, rock on, devil horns. You know, anyway, <laughs> you uh, can do it. Yeah, yeah you can do it. Nigga. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but dude, then we, so we go and we find this book of satanic art and it's, it's some of the most disturbing images I think I've ever seen. And like, especially if you know, if you're, if you've ever been religious, like it, dude, it, there was a picture of, I think it's Jesus on the cross. It's either Mary. I think it's Jesus on the cross, but he's, his like dick is out Back. and <laughs> It's like really, it's huge. Yeah, it's like really, big. <laughs> it's like, dude. So that's the thing too. It's very consistent. Well, at least now I know Jesus has a huge dick. It might, <laughs> dude, honestly, it might have been like something with Ma like Mary getting like raped. It was really fucked. Like his, yeah, it's like really fucked up shit. And then there was one, but no, it wasn't that. It wasn't that fucked up. Maybe, but it was like brutally like weird erotic shit where <laughs> it was just basically the hmm. there was one of like a woman who was t her, she <laughs> there was a <laughs> demon doing a demon she was doing something from a demon into her mouth and it went through her mouth came out of her ass in like a horn and the demon <laughs> what was is playing the, what is this, hentai? the thing through the horn honestly y'all i gotta I wish I could go through my phone right now. And I have it, like p not pictures, but I have it like in my Instagram somewhere oh of like the, we'll look the at it. We can look at it later. And it was just, it was just crazy. And anyway, that sounds like hentai. Yeah, it was shit like <laughs> that. But you got to imagine all these gothy, serious Satan worshipers like reading, and then you, my two, co my cousin and I being like, oh, look at this dude, look at his fucking dick, <laughs> look at his dick, dude, his dick. Why is his dick going in her butt, out of her butt, into the other demon's butt, and then just like <laughs> giggling hilariously? It's and then, almost like they're doing a centipede. Yeah, it was it was insane yeah, though. But man. anyway, so that was essentially the Satan temple, my Satan temple story. Wow. That's what we're I'm actually doing. trying to locate that picture right now. Of what? Um, the Satan uh, Temple? The, yeah, the Satan. How long ago was it? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, I meant it's in my archives of my Instagram, like, uh, stories. Oh, Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I apologize. Well. Yeah. Anyway. Well, to be fair, it's a touchy subject. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. wild. Yeah, people, people yeah. did. My cousin and mom, other cousin and mom, did not come with us to the temple. They did not want to go yeah. in. And yeah. I was like, why? They're like, we're just uncomfortable. And I'm like, it's <laughs> not real. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't think it's real. You're fine. Yeah. You're fine. A lot of people think it's real. <laughs> no, I know. It depends I know on what it. the people believe. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm a jerk when I do stuff like that. Sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> I get, I get, you ever do that though? When someone's like, oh, I got to. All right. So like, you, did you guys go to like. Um, college, like a university and everything. Yeah. I went to community college. <laughs> okay. So I'm not, I'm, that's fine. I'm just not knocking it. It's just, I went, so staying in a dorm is you, you see what everyone does and you see people get fucked up. You walk in a bathroom, you see someone puking in a toilet. You see, yeah. I'm just saying you see like girls come out of dudes rooms at like one, you yeah. know, in the morning you see debauchery. So sometimes, yeah. some, some colleges yeah. have even the co-ed showers. Right. But my point is, is like, I would get so weirded out when I would, I like one day I've said this on the podcast before I was at the elevator one day on a Sunday and I was going out to smoke weed and a whole group of like the whole floor, it seemed not whole, but like five or six kids came out to the elevator. I'm like, Oh, what are you guys going? And they're like, we're going to church. <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> what? <Nerds. laughs> and they're, yeah, exactly, Ozzy. <laughs> exactly, dude. And they're like, yeah, we're going to church. I'm like, why? And they go, we believe in God. And I go, okay, <laughs> but you're in, co you guys know your parents aren't around, right? And they're like, yeah, but we still believe in God. And I go, Okay, uh, I guess like <laughs> you believe in God when you go to church, but you know when you're you don't doing believe. crazy exactly. well, that's, shit that's, all day. Exactly. Yeah. But that's exactly my main point. Like, I don't think you should go yeah. to church and be like, "Oh, I'm you know part of church and I yeah. believe in God and everything." Okay, cool. But if you believe in God, if you believe in God, it's like literally like 
just believe it within yeah. yourself. Yeah, it's also too. It's well with someone like you that makes sense too because you're not a judgy weirdo. Like for some reason, nah. when people go to church and they do all that fucked up shit at home, like we do, not even fucked up shit, like but shit we do, like if you smoke a joint right. or if you Sins. if you have sex, ooh, it's oh, like yeah. well, no, you can't do that. But then Dude, they back do it anyway. Yeah, from my mom. Yeah, it's just we. It's just. The, my whole thing is like those people are super judgy, but then you meet people like you, and it's like, yeah, I don't care what you do, <laughs> just just hang out and just yeah, it, it, yeah, know, exactly, it just pisses me it, off, exactly. I, I, I like, like I, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. just not really a judgmental person at all. Like I'm just like I accept everyone. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just it, it just perplexed me at the time when they're like, we're going to church. It's like we, we you don't do church like what? stuff ever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're doing yeah. drugs. You're doing all the I'm, seven I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about this, but <laughs> dude, I dated a freaking church girl. Oh, and she was like I'm the sorry. biggest slut at that time in the church. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, and then, and everybody said, like, oh, she's an angel. She doesn't do anything. She goes to church and she believes in God, but she's sucking niggas dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm going to hit my button. Damn. Slots. So I have drops on my show. I just have like little buttons I press and things play. And you won't be able to hear them, but if you go listen and you come back, maybe we'll listen to it. It'll be fun. Yeah. Um I always think I, I don't know if oh, so this is another one. Um just another wow, they, you know what? I didn't even mean for this to happen. These are good for true crime. I mean, that wasn't the best crime story, but it did lead to decent conversation. <laughs> I'd say so. Yeah, so, I would say so. So the other thing I found was, and this isn't even really a crime. It's just funny that it happened, but it has to do with, um, <laughs> you'll see. So apparently <laughs> out in Canfield, um, somewhere, I don't know if it's Jersey. Anyway, some fucking, uh, middle school, Canfield middle school, this, uh, teacher put out a, they put out like a, how would you, what crimes would you commit in a yearbook? section for some it was like supposed to be a what the fuck? it was supposed to be a mystery themed um activity or something it was supposed to be like you know you, you ever been to like one of those plays where they're like oh so you know you have to who it, done it, it who done it it's supposed to be i think that type of thing from what i got from mm -hmm. the article basically said like oh we we're going to do like a a mystery who done it themed but it was mm -hmm. poorly executed cuz he asked yeah they asked kids like what uh Hold on. Which students weigh in on what what they would be sent to prison for, what weapon they would use, and how they think they would do in prison? Like, what the like fuck? for and the weapon Who was like for this. Yeah. So, and <laughs> a, this apparently, was a good idea. yeah, and apparently the kids said like they'd be arrested for stealing. Another one said car wreck. Another one said armed robbery, and then one of them said revenge murder, which is my oh. favorite. <laughs> and then oh, no. revenge murder. Um, yeah, they said, what crime would you commit and what weapon would you use? One student said, the crime I would commit is murder using a World War II gun. Which what? Is, <laughs> these kids are wild. And then... Um, He's going to shoot some Nazis. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, he, uh, he was uh, another part of World War II. Uh, uh -huh. but, no, uh, so... A vet soldier just reincarnated. Yeah, so apparently it's just... <laughs> um, I forgot what I had a point with this. Shit. <laughs> but apparently the parents Sorry. got pissed off and were like, why are of you, course. why the fuck are you sending? Why, who that, the fuck yeah, that's that? not, that's not a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Middle schoolers. Yeah. It was going with some mystery theme in the yearbook Shit, and it's I just got, fucking I got stupid. in trouble just for making violent comics. Yeah. Freaking desk. My dad, so I used to write horror books in my like notebook in story, like, Spooky. you know, stories. And they were basically like, just it was essentially scream but with different characters and shit well, and to be fair i kind of included miss my math teacher at the time in my comics yeah i would i would include kids, kids names i knew just <laughs> I, I don't mean like people i didn't like they were like people i knew i was just like it was like a homage but they, some of them died. And yeah, my dad would be like, don't ever show yeah. this to anyone. Like if you, if you, yeah, get my, yeah it, my mom was like, don't ever fucking do this. Yeah. If again. you get caught, you're about to kill everybody. Yeah. If you get caught, like don't say anything. 
<laughs> my dad told me yeah. that. He's like, school shirt, I, yeah, school don't shooter. say it. Yeah. Not even a school shirt. He just knew he was a teacher. He knew how it would come off. And he didn't even know that kids were the name. It wasn't like a lot of names. It was just like there were a few people in it where I was like, oh, I like their name. So I threw it in. It nothing to do with it. But it yeah, was. Yeah, I got in trouble just by doing that. Like, I didn't. Yeah. I don't. Why was this even approved? <laughs> But I thought it, I thought that was hilarious because if they did that in my elementary school, I would have gotten in way more trouble than oh, these yeah. kids. Oh, like yeah. my thing would 100%. have been, well, if they brought this in and were like, Hey, how do you want to murder people? I would have had the best ideas, dude. I'm not going to lie. Like I watched <laughs> crazy shit back then and loved like guns and shit, like play guns. So I would have been like, I'd shoot the person and then I'd chop them up and I'd stab them. Like I, they would have, they would have just like taken me. Them? Yeah. They would have taken me aside and been like, what is going on with your son? So see, that's the thing. Like kids nowadays get away with a lot more shit than what we used to. Mm-hmm. Sort of. No, I don't know, man. Sort of not, not anymore. They, if you, if, if this happens now and a kid's like, I want to shoot something, they just like take that kid away and they're like, you're in trouble yeah. because of, you know, everything. And I, I'm not saying whatever, um, you, you know, I'm not, I'm not a parent, but I, and I'm not saying if I had kids, I would be like, play with toy guns. But I had so many toy guns as a kid and would just willy nilly like, dude, I had a chest, especially full of nerf them. guns not even nerf guns dude i had like like realistic like the cop guns like they had like the the um, rent the like orange the guns yeah they had i mean they had the orange tips but it was still like dude me and chris our, our mutual friend would just run around our yard shooting each other stabbing each other with <laughs> samurai the fake samurai swords it, we had the best time dude but it's just wild to think that i think if like let's say we were little nowadays and some kid came over my house and we had toy guns and he went back to his parents' house and they were like, we play toy guns. I guarantee you it's a fucking problem. You know what I mean? Like a problem. Like the parents are like in enraged type shit, like showing up and are like, how dare you bring it? Anyway. But, play toy guns at my house. Yeah, that never happened. Where we were. That and nowadays you got to be careful. Like, you know, going in people's houses and shit. I remember back in the day, I used to go to my friends' houses yeah. all the time. I, yeah. Same. Me and Chris used to knock on each other's doors and be like, is Chris yeah. home? And they'd be like, yeah, or no, or may, no, not, you know, let, check back later. You know, you're, right. you're, sometimes you knock no one answer. You'd have to walk home. <laughs> to that shit. Yeah. But yeah. Nowadays, you got to be careful with that. Well, I, yeah. every time I would go there, I would just be like, oh, Sammy's here. Let her in. Yeah. Certain places you could just, get, like, everyone had that one friend's house. You could just walk in. No one give a fuck. Yeah. yeah. Like make yourself at home. I'm trying to think. Is there any? There's nothing else. There's no other crime. That's not even a crime thing. All my crime things have been so <laughs> silly adjacent. They're not even. Like, worthy. <laughs> They're never even worthy of like a side note in it's your right. episode. It's okay. It's still a. It's still a good session. We're no, no, we're cruising. No, this is. I actually. Well, cause I'm, I'm, we're coming to the end because I usually wrap it around an hour, and. Um, mm-hmm. I'll probably end with this. It doesn't even feel like an hour. I know, dude. We're flowing. This is great. I genuinely, <laughs> I've had a great time. Like I, I love. This is. I took a few weeks off from my podcast recently just because I was not feeling it, and I just didn't have a flow with a few guests and some shit. Just honestly, just some comedians in general were just pissing me off. <laughs> just like, like I love yeah. my comedian friends, but some, just the the overall vibe of comedians was just aggravating me. So. Well, let, back, let us actually. know if you ever want to do this again. Man. No, we'll definitely. Again. We will. We yeah. will definitely again soon. And um, I'll end with, uh, I'll ask you guys one last question. Um, do you guys, because I've been, I haven't asked it on the podcast in a long time, but do you guys, have you guys watched uh, a movie recently or seen, like what's the last movie you guys watched that you really liked? It can be new. It could be, or just anything you were like, wow, I really like that shit. It's been a fucking hmm. minute since I seen that. Or this one I mean, was really good and we saw it type thing. I mean, we've been watching Obi-Wan. Oh, that's, that's the, that's the ch- a show, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a show. No, I mean, a fun. movie we saw, the last movie we saw was um, Crimes of Grindelwald, the yeah, Fantastic the, uh, Beasts. Oh, I never got and into I, the, the Fantastic Beasts yeah. ones. I, I like them. I think that they're definitely good as a prequel. But a lot of people talked a lot of shit about this movie, but I, I liked it. I We've know. mostly been gaming, to be honest with you. Oh, so what are you guys gaming with? Or I just specific. finished uh, Shadow Warrior. Three. Three. What's that? Yeah, Is that it's RPG? like a hack and slash, <gasps> oh. hack and slash FPS. Yeah. Oh, I've never heard of it. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. and then now that we're just um, playing a new demo called Hell Hell Singer Metal Hell Singer, that, and it's it's so cool. You mm -hmm. have it plays metal music, and you have to shoot on time with mm -hmm. the music in order for like to get the vocals and oh, shit. It's right. so cool. it's almost like Guitar Hero like, with mixed with Doom. Yeah, now nah, just like uh, oh, that's sweet. No, nah, I got um Game Pass. I don't know if you guys have Game Pass. I just got it, and I yeah, downloaded. We did. I don't know if you ever played Destroy All Humans. That. The one with the alien. No, but I've no, seen I, it. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 it's, That's a fun game. Yeah, it's a throwback, and I'm replaying it, and I'm realizing that I ne like I only played it with cheats back in the day, and now it's so much harder than I remember. I'm like, because, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I don't even know how to play this. Yeah, game. <laughs> it's, it's also like um, the controls. That was for PlayStation 4 back in the day, right? I think PlayStation 2, dude. It's it's old. It's Xbox. Two? Xbox. Oh, so that means yeah. it, so, so that means you had <laughs> Xbox. So that means you had the like the game shark then. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, cuz if you use cheats, cheats, yeah, to do the cheats, you probably use the game shark. I don't recall. Oh, you mean like <laughs> look at to look up the sheets, yeah. sheets. Oh, uh, yeah. honestly, dude, I didn't have video games back in the day. I just played this at my cousin's house, and it was so much fun. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. he probably had it. Yeah. What's is that yeah, a he website? Probably didn't just read. No, no, no. It's a, it's like an adapter. It's that like goes, a cartridge. Yeah, it goes in the back of the console. system, and it hooks up, and then you put the cheat on there. Oh, sweet! No, I never see. So you probably didn't real. You probably didn't realize it because it was already hooked up. Mm. Yeah, dude. The um thing too about playing this game and it's so old is it's pr almost primitive to the fucking the games we play yeah. now the way it's the controls yeah. and everything so it's frustrating but i'm gonna yep. probably give it a whirl after we get out, out of here actually um, <laughs> so yeah guys this is great uh do you guys what do you guys plug do you guys where can people find you social media your podcast give it all right mm -hmm. now please we are Cushion Crime, True Crime Podcast. We are on all of the platforms. We are on Instagram at Cushion Crime. We have a website, CushionCrime.com. And we're going to be going to CushCon in Tampa, August 6th and 7th. And we'll have a booth there. And you guys can see us there. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, guys. Anyone in Come Tampa on, listening. Weird. Yeah. I, I don't know Tampa how many, if anyone's listening. But anyone who's listening, guys, <laughs> give them a Oh, what, you guys got social media you want people to follow you on? Or? Yep. The yeah. Instagram is Cushion Crime and Twitter is Cushion Crime and Facebook is Cushion Crime. Hell yeah. Consistency. It's all one place. <laughs> and nice. if you do see us on Twitch occasionally on Cushion Crime. Yeah, sometimes. It's very occasionally. <laughs> no, that's the way to Twitch. do it, man. I wish I, if I, at some point in my life, I'm going to have them all the same. But as of right now, I have a few different things. But like you, yeah. like you said, man, we're just trying to make it. Yeah, man. Yeah. It, it's, it's slowly but surely. There's a way. There's It'll, mm -hmm. it'll happen. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, for listeners, follow me at Silly Selly on Instagram. Uh, follow the podcast Instagram at Yes Offense Podcast on Instagram. And also... Uh, which we call. I am doing a show at Powder Hollow Brewery in Middletown, Connecticut, Saturday, mm -hmm. June twenty fifth. It's going to be me, Sean Murray, and Andrew Manning. It's a really small lineup, but it's going to be mighty. It's going to be a lot of fun. Please come out to that. I would really like to sell tickets to this show. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, please uh, and I'll, and please listen. Rate. Uh, it, go on YouTube. Check out Yes Offense. Subscribe on there. I'd really appreciate it because people have not been doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, leave a review it's on okay. iTunes, guys, if you don't mind. Uh, and just tell people about the podcast because anyone listening, because I, I I don't know how else to get the word out there. That's yeah, it. word of mouth is wonderful. Yeah, I know, I know people listen, so uh, I'd appreciate you guys. Just doing that. And that's all I ask because it is free. <laughs> it's especially a free haters, podcast. Especially haters. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no dude, ads. It, it's so funny before we leave. Uh, I had, when I first started this podcast, I'll even call him out by name. Um, actually, let me, what is his name? I have to look at the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Call him out by name. Wait, anyway, wait, what's his name? <laughs> you know what? Anyone can figure it out who listens who's comedians, but his name is Dan and he's this really fat. He's so fat, you guys. Like, I mean, like. Oh man, he's disgustingly fat, and <laughs> he, he like fat he, like you know like I, fat out uh, not fat out word yeah, uh, no no uh, Austin Powers guy oh fat bastard fat bastard yeah he's up there yes. he's really up there but he, he's oh, just, yeah damn. he's he's pretty gross um but he <laughs> he wrote a he does like um the hard times or whatever and he wrote a 
a very passive aggressive article about CT comics doing podcasts or white dudes doing podcasts. And he named the, the, the article was clearly about me, but he used wow. other shittier, uh, <laughs> CT comics names and like, f- um, made them like, you know, when you make, like are making fun of someone's name, but, but you just change it slightly. I don't know the word for yeah. it, but the, he did that. Like Michael, I say Michaela. Yeah. But it, it was like, someone's name was like, one of them went by like daddy woke and he called him like daddy broke or something like that instead. But he used oh, them, wow. he used them in replacement for me in the article. And he wrote a whole fucking like parody article about the podcast before wow. it had any, it didn't even go in. It, nobody listened yet. And he already wrote a fucking, Hey guys, look at these white dudes trying. It's like, it's just me. And any guests I have, if you can see my guests, they're pretty diverse. Anyway, um, <laughs> Just tell him to hop off your dick. It's insane. No, dude, it's insane. I I, I think I've had like three interactions with this kid one time, and he actually like Uh, wrote in. It's insane. Hey, but you know what? Even though he did talk shit about you, it's kind of giving you attention. No, no, it worked. It was hilarious. It it made its way around a bunch of group chats, which was pretty funny. And he's still fat. Hmm. Um, Yeah, Yeah. no. um, So, yeah, guys, no, thanks for coming on. We will do this again, definitely, because this just definitely. Please. Please. Um, yes. Yeah. So thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. And um, I'm going to do one of Real talk. you guys didn't hear that, but they heard it on the audio <laughs> side. Love you guys. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.